Aloha friends, good morning. My Powerball numbers unfortunately did not win. If I did win, I would have been giving you guys money giveaways, but no. Nope, no win. Um, Danielle, or not Danielle, Jonathan's already at school. Off to the bus actually. Danielle's snack is now here. Now I gotta prep up for Danielle's breakfast. It's so hard to feed Danielle. It is. Like she doesn't, she never has the time to eat breakfast in the morning because she wakes up late and plus um, she, had, she had volleyball so early in the morning. But now that volleyball school season is over, I can get her to eat a good breakfast. But again, she doesn't really eat solid foods in the morning. She's like me. She's not a breakfast um, person so I can't force, I can't force her. I can't force her breakfast because I know how it is. I hate breakfast. I'll drink coffee, but that's about it for breakfast. And then I'll have a bagel. If there is a bagel, and it has to be my pumpkin bagel, but I'm gonna... Okay. Oh, what am I doing? So, if I can find it, I've got some frozen... I've got some frozen berries that I will give her. It's got some blackberries in here, some blueberries, some strawberries, some blackberries, blueberries, strawberries, raspberries. And then I'm going to sweeten it up with my apple nectar, put it into the little bullet. This is Danica's baby food bullet and make her some breakfast. Good morning. Good morning. Oh, I have, um, she said I have to close up my jacket. All right, this girl is going to have a baby toothpaste. Come on, baby love. Oop, 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 oop. Here you go. Brush your teeth. Her breath is so, so bad today that I actually... Where are you going? Danica, no, I have it already. See, I, I put toothpaste. I already put some in there. Okay. She loves the toothpaste. Okay. Okay, go ahead. Brush your teeth. I actually use um, Danny's toothpaste on her with my finger and I, and I scrubbed her teeth. Because her breath was really bad. Bad, bad, bad. Danny, do me a favor. Go get another straw. Go get another straw. It's my, it's my black boots down here. Your black what? Boots? Um, oh, I think so. Danielle, look. I made it and it was all the way here and she barely had any. It's so hard to feed that child. So Danny's going to have um, the leftover. Danny, do you also want a breakfast sandwich with it? Hey, do you also want a breakfast sandwich with it? You want a breakfast sandwich or no? Yeah. yeah. Okay, come have some juice or some, what do you call this? Fruit smoothie. Good morning. <laughs> we just took Danny down um, to be picked up for the bus. A quick tip with you guys. I had knocked this down. Uh-oh. You know what? Let me go get it and then I'll show you again. Where that came from was right here. I was walking down here and I was zipping up my jacket and I lost my balance. I, um, I actually knocked this down and good thing one was dangling. But that picture frame, the whole thing fell off. Okay. So I'm going to show you guys a quick tip. Um, I got a Sharpie. And what happened was this, it chipped off. Just like, just like this one right here. And instead of throwing it out thinking like, oh broken it's not broken um look at right there see how it chipped off first of all i gotta find it because i don't want danica to put it into her mouth then don't put your finger there. but all you gotta do is just get a sharpie cover it up i can't do it with one hand but i did it over here and then i just gotta go through the edges and that's it i better cover this up before i do some damage because it's hard to do it with one hand but that's all I did just a sharpie instead of exposing the raw wood like that was over there and from far away can't even tell that there's a missing piece over there so quick tip quick tip for you guys Danica is like uh, mom what's going on she's having a quarter of Danny's breakfast sandwich and she'll eat all of that yeah. Baby, why is there tears in your eyes? Oh. Oh my goodness. I don't like to see tears in your eyes. She wasn't crying. It's just one of those 
I get that too sometimes. There we go. She wants to know what's in her drawer. So this is her drawer, her special drawer that she just puts stuff in there. And then for Danica, I always take out a couple snacks for her to make sure that um, I remind myself to um, give her some. And then avocados, I think her and I will share it for a quick lunch. And yes, love. No, after you eat this, sweetheart, after you eat that, okay? And then I'm making Milaga. Good thing. Aloha, friends. Good morning. It's about 8 o'clock. 8 o'clock outside. But <clears throat> it's time for me to bring my, my groceries in. This has been outside for two days. And it's when I went to H Mart. And it's still cold. I just did not have any... Um, any room in my fridge and it's about an average let me see yeah it's nice and cold so that's how I'm <laughs> I have another refrigerator outside the nature refrigerator and then I have my meat which is still a bit frozen and I had it out here um it's cold it's not like it's warm it's cold because it's like 30 degrees it gets to 30 degrees at night yep perfect perfect i could have never done this in california yes love yes good morning to you go ahead and finish your breakfast okay and i'll give you chocolate milk in a sippy cup okay all right all right friends oh my goodness this looks so good to me right now let's see sunday i don't even know what we had for dinner or lunch sunday um i'm sure it wasn't this kind because i didn't cook this weekend as far as like for my taste it's only for my family's taste monday we had ham remember tuesday leftover ham wednesday we had we had that pork chop and i'm so glad that when i took Dan danica to her doctor's appointment that i did stop at h mart and gotten these vegetables for my nilaga here is my nilaga that's a lot but actually, I will eat it. Um, the girls will eat it. The boys doesn't eat this. But it's been cooking in green onions. I mean, I'm sorry. Um, red onions and one cube of beef broth and water. And now it's very soft. I use good meat, which is the beef ribs. And then I will add some celery stalks in there right now. I don't know, maybe four or five. Celery actually flavors the broth. And then I will add all these vegetables in here. I am in vegetable heaven right now because I need the vegetable break. I am meat out. Well, it's got meat in there, but it's got all these veggies that's flavoring up the meat. And then when I do cook my nilaga, I cook the vegetables al dente, just like pasta, barely cooked. I'll put it in there for a good maybe two, two to five minutes. Turn off the turn off the um, the stove take the lid out you don't want to keep the lid in there because then it's gonna really cook up the vegetables and then take it out of the heat and then the vegetables will keep on cooking onto the hot broth and it'll be nice and crunchy I don't like my veggies overcooked and Danica is yelling for me ah she just drank her milk I gave her a milk bottle hi love you guys are like, Diane, you left her in the living room. Yes, I did. Come, come. Come, come. Yeah, that wasn't nice. <laughs> um, every time she's done with her milk, she always calls me. And there we go. There is lunch for like all the way up to Sunday. And today is Thursday. This will last me a while. So, And plus the girls will have a broth. Oh, this is so good. Yeah, like I said, I don't like to overcook my veggies. See how they're still nice and green? Got that. Just make sure that you wash it really, really well. That's it. I took it out of the heat. I will not put the lid on it so it stays green because I don't like it overcooked. Like um, this one I'll show you. Show you overcooked. So celery became overcooked and that's okay because I take it out anyways. I just use it to flavor the broth because I do not add any. You're supposed to add fish sauce to this to flavor it but I don't do that because of course you guys know Danielle is allergic to anything that comes from the ocean 
and so I don't ever put fish sauce in there. That's why I also flavor it with um, the beef bouillon and then just salt and pepper. Yes, babe. Show me. Show me. She's asking for permission. Oh, I know, love. If I let you touch it one time, then you're going to think it's okay to touch it. Then I'll confuse you. Let's go watch TV. Okay? Don't touch. That's food. Sunny today. Sunny, 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 sunny. Sun is out. Woo! Look at that. Beautiful. Yeah, it's beautiful out today, Danica. But we're going to stay home. We're not going anywhere today, lovely. Come, come, love. Come. Come on. Come inside. Time to change you. Okay? You can get out of your comfy PJs now. It's nice and cozy outside. Come on, baby. Come on. Child, what do you have around your neck? Oh, <laughs> I forgot about that. Yes, that was around Danica's neck when I picked up Kuya. <gasps> Put it back. Hold her sippy cup. Oh, come on, Danica. Did well, you take gonna, your bib? I was going to tell the, my, our friends what that guy did. Oh, no. Well, he just, he oversped over at the school zone and he passed us, which we just let it go. If he gets a ticket, he gets a ticket. We just worry about ourselves. Some people don't realize how... Hi, yeah, yeah, yeah. We were school is being let out, and it's supposed to be 20 miles and under. I was going about 20, maybe 18, maybe 19, roughly around there, you know. And he just went around me and sped up all. The, I'm like, are you kidding me? <laughs> Come on, let's go. So hopefully he gets a ticket so he can realize that you know what he can't do that. Oh boy, my big girl. I can't carry the car seat anymore. I oh, know, it's such a big girl. Oi.